In this video, we're going to take an existing scene in SketchUp Pro 2022 that we previously lit with some simple daylighting and cove lighting, and we're going to develop a material for the wood floor. The current scene has uh, essentially all white material, gray material up on the ceiling. And while the lighting is working, I want to begin to address it in terms of the materiality of the floor. So I'm going to first go into my asset editor and create a new material of type generic. Double click on the name and call this wood, rename it wood floor. I am going to select my floor, which is in a component and double click to open that component, select the um, shaded face, right click my material and apply to selection and then close that component. And in my material editor, I've opened up my panel to the right so I can see the details of that material. This is a preview uh, model showing the, um, showing the materiality. For the color, instead of a single color, I'm going to use a texture. So I'm going to click on the texture slot and I'm using an image file. I will choose bitmap and my image file is located in this path. And that is the color image that I'm going to use. And what I see when I assign an image is I get the location of that image so I can repurpose it, some basic color and texture um, details. And notice I am now underneath the wood floor in this bitmap. So I can return to my wood floor by clicking on wood floor. And my preview object now shows that wood texture. It's a little challenging to see, but I have that available there. And let's go ahead and render this. It is challenging to see at this scale, so I think I will move my camera in closer and even pivot it down and add a new scene so that I can see this floor. in more detail. And it is at a very tiny, um, tiny scale. So I'm going to go into my materials tab. And instead of saying that texture is at 10 inches, I'm going to say that texture is at four feet. So it was previously compressing that texture file down into a 10 inch square. <clears throat> Four feet is a little bit more reasonable, but honestly, I think I'm going to go a little higher, Let's say seven feet. Looking back at that texture, one, two, three, four. In fact, I'm going to go eight feet. I'm going to say each of these square uh, arrangements, I'm going to assume is two feet in dimension. So if I go eight foot by eight foot and I render, I can now begin to see more of that detail in the floor. And it's looking not bad as a color reference. However, I don't get much sense of materiality beyond the color. I don't get any reflectivity or finish details. So let's go to our back to our material settings. In my reflection, I'm going to set my reflection color to be high. White is largely reflective or fully reflective. Black is not reflective. I'm going to go fully reflective. It doesn't look like a mirror, which I may expect at full reflection, because by default, SketchUp has our Fresnel effect on, which is a, um, a um, reduction of reflectivity based on the angle of incidence. So it changes the amount of reflection based on how you the camera is viewing that angle, whether it's um, perpendicular or parallel to the camera. And it creates a very natural phenomenon for for our reflections. If I were to turn off this Fresnel checkbox, you'll see because I have full reflection, I become my material becomes very much a mirror, but I, I don't want that in this case. Maybe for, for metallic objects, I will need this, but for things like woods or stones, I'm going to leave Fresnel on. When I render, what I'll see is this now gives me reflection. However, it's incredibly sharp reflection. It looks like I have a stone finish or a very, very highly polished finish. And with wood, I want much more of a natural 
um, finish. So I'm going to lower the glossiness. That will defocus the reflection. Instead of one, I'm going to lower it down to, I think, 0.8. Should be reasonable. And now when I render, I should see the reflectivity, but it will be less polished and less focused and more defocused. So I'm beginning to get somewhere. In order to view this materiality and, and, and assess it at the scale, I'm going to turn on my render region and I'm going to drag a window around just one portion of my floor where I'm getting sunlight and indirect light and reflectivity. And at this scale, I can begin to see more of what's happening uh, because I can resolve my render quickly to a, a less noisy condition. And it's beginning to look reasonable. However, it looks very flat. I don't see any sense of the boards or the displacement of that material. And I will find that down here in my bump settings. And I'm going to assign to the amount of bump no, to the bump map itself, I'm going to assign a bitmap. I'm going to assign this image map here as a starting point for that. And if I render now, the, the value of 1 is often far greater than it needs to be, so I'm going to actually lower that to 0.1. And as I render, the bump map is going to attempt to create the illusion of bumpiness on the floor, the illusion of displacement and changing of the materiality. You can begin to see maybe some of that right here where I'm getting some sense of the um, conditions of the, the boards and of the grain. And it just gives it a slight bit more realism. I'm going to increase that bump value up to, let's say, 0.2 and render, which will make it more pronounced. I can begin to see some sense of shadows cast by the um, the panels of wood here. And I think to assess that, I'm going to move back to my earlier view. Let's see this view here. I'm going to open up my frame buffer and turn off my render region and render this entire view. I may be a little too strong in my reflection. I'm getting a huge amount of uh, reflection of the sky outside because the sky is so bright. Um, so I may eventually want to go back and tone that down. And if I were to select a render region, let's say just of that area there, to render. You may notice that the, the room got quite a bit darker when I put on this wood floor, and that's because the amount of energy being bounced off of it um, is is reduced by the tone. It's absorbing more energy than it's than it was before, and that's why the rest of the room has gotten significantly darker. And I think in order to see this, I need to get closer. I'm so far away in this big room that I'm not able to appreciate the floor. There we go. Yeah, so I'm still rendering in a region, and it looks a little odd because that region is what's updating, and outside of the render region is the old floor, or the old render. But I can begin to see, I get this texture of wood on the floor, I'm getting a sense of reflection, there's some really nice detail happening in here where the bump map is making the boards appear to be pushed away from the floor, and it's causing some variation in that reflection for the, for the scene. So that I'm feeling pretty comfortable with. In future videos, we'll develop more modeling components in this space and refine some other surfaces to keep developing the solution towards a, um, a very comprehensive render of this gallery space.